Well, good morning. It's Friday morning. Yay! Yay. We love Fridays. Amen. Today, uh, the title of our devotion is Encourage Yourself in the Lord. Amen. You know, and we're going to talk about that in a minute. But, you know, Marcia, I, I, um, I, I especially like this because uh, that's why I like to pray in the Holy Spirit, yeah. the Holy Ghost, you know. That's what it tells and, you. Yeah, the word encourages you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, beloved, building yourselves up on your most holy faith, praying, praying in the, the Holy, holy Ghost. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And the more, you know, uh, I, think I liked what Pastor Rudd said, is, you know, when you're praying in the Spirit, uh, God's having an intelligent conversation with well, you, you know. Because it's spirit uh, to spirit. It's spirit yeah. to spirit, yeah, not in human mind there. When nothing else works, encourage yourself in the Lord. Do it with the word of God. George Mueller said this right here. Be assured if you walk with him and look to him and expect help from him, he will never fail you. That's Amen. Right. Amen. Right. He will never fail you. First Samuel chapter 30 verse 6 says, but David encouraged himself in the Lord. Amen. Well, if you don't encourage yourself in the Lord, if you try to encourage yourself with other things, it's, they're temporal. Yes. And that won't encourage you, for, but God was eternal. And don't you agree with that? Well, I do agree with that. Here, how about this right here? David encouraged himself in the Lord, probably because he could find no one else to encourage <laughs> probably him. Probably so, yeah. And uh, sometimes the people around you that are speaking the words over you, I'm telling you, they're not encouraging right. words, you know. Mm -hmm. And so you have to get by yourself and you pray in the Holy Ghost. I think that's the reason Paul and Paul said this. I pray more than all of you in the Holy Ghost, in the Holy Spirit, you know. Uh, what? To keep himself encouraged. If you were if you were doing this for God and you go out here and you're living on the road, you're, I'm not a uh, holiday in, okay, even in, in a tent, you're having to work to, to provide the money to get to the next city to go and preach the gospel where they're going to ridicule you, where very few of them will receive you, where many times they will cause a riot about you. I mean... Don't you think he had to encourage himself? To I'm encourage telling you, man. Or how many times he found himself in jail. You know, David needed it. Paul needed it. And you know what? You and I need it also. Yeah. We live in a world. And if he can do it, I guarantee you can do it also, okay? So I want to encourage you to encourage yourself daily. I want to give you some scripture. I love the word of God. It, it helps us in these areas, okay? Here's one that will strengthen you. Deuteronomy 31, verse 6. Be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be in dread of them, for it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. No matter what battle you're going into, you understand that God is with you. He's watching over you. He is taking care of you. Isaiah 41, 10. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed. For I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yea, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. I'm in Isaiah 40. And then Zephaniah. And our Bibles just turn over. Just fall to, to <laughs> Zephaniah 317. The Lord your God is in your midst. He's right there where you are. A mighty one who will say, he will rejoice over you with gladness. He will acquiet you with his love. He will exalt over you with loud singing. Praise wow. God. That's Praise encouraging. God. That's God, encouraging. God sings loudly over us. Yeah, Amen. No. That's encouraging. <clears throat> He'll comfort you as well. Oh, man. And, you know, the, the Lord's comfort is what we need sometimes. Amen. We do. When life comes at us, right? Life happens. And the Psalms 9 9 says, The Lord is a stronghold for the oppressed a stronghold in times of trouble. Amen. And those who know your name put their trust in you. For you, O Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. So if we'll seek after him, yes, he will comfort you. I mean, when things are going on around, instead of looking at the circumstances, look to him, amen, yes, amen. for that comfort. And in Proverbs 18.10, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. We sing Amen. that song. Amen. The we name do. of the Lord is a strong tower. Thank goodness for songs that we can have these scriptures come up out of us. Amen. And you start singing that. He is your strong tower. Amen. And he brings comfort to you. You know, Marsha, I was uh, blessed by something you said the other Wednesday night in that um, this thing with Uvalde and 
you know, what words can you really say to, no words. to the families or to, to the, even to the community? And we, last Wednesday night, we prayed for sure. them, you know, and we're, and, still and we're still continuing to pray for them. But I, I thought about this right here. The, the Lord is a stronghold in times of trouble, you he's know, the only one that can and he's comfort. the only one that can hold you in place, yeah. you know, and keep you in that time of distress of oppression there were all these things happening his peace that says in Romans 8 6 for to set your mind uh, to set the mind on flesh is death but to set your mind on the spirit is life and peace here's what I was blessed by that Romans 8 6 8 6 but you said the other day said when those children died Jesus was there holding his arms open for them they, and they, they ran did, into they his went from one oh, the man. last breath they took yeah. was the first breath in heaven that blessed I mean, me that blessed me yes. that blessed me because and, you know we get so determined about this flesh it's all about the flesh but this it flesh was a is tragedy. temporal yes it absolutely. was tragedy but it's temporal but those children were Jesus yes that's right and you know he even showed me those teachers were protecting yeah. them yeah. and and they were the children were afraid and they, I, I could just see this teacher don't be afraid don't be afraid I'll be right there right. I'll be right there yeah. and I believe those teachers were went right to heaven there. just like that yeah. with them yeah. and uh, anyway that no greater me. life and so they didn't go into heaven not yeah, knowing anyone right. there's a lot of people they know yeah, in heaven absolutely well God bless you we love you encourage yourself in the Lord okay mm -hmm. do that God bless.